Hi friends, thank you for making it to part two of our lesson today. I'm so excited to jump into the skill that we're gonna be learning about. So remember, we just read this text about Ruby Bridges, and the skill that we're practicing today is actually the same skill that we practiced yesterday. So today, we are going to be describing how authors use reasons to support specific points. So just review, our steps are, step one, what is the topic? Step two, what are the key points? Step three, find details to support each point. Step four, explain how the details help you understand the point. And the key point that we're gonna be focusing on today is that white people wanted black and white people separate and they wanted segregation during this time period in the book. So just to review, remember key points or import, are important points that the author makes in the text. So there are a few cute there are a few key points that the author makes throughout this text that they really want us to understand. And one of them is that the author wants us to know that white people supported segregation. White people wanted white and black people to be separate during this time period. Remember, this book was set in the 1960s. That's when Ruby Bridges first went to school. So we're going to jump right in. First, you're going to watch me, watch you. You're going to watch me as I use reasons to support specific points. And then it's going to be our turn to practice together. And then it's going to be your turn. So let's jump right in. We're going to go into the first example in our book. So remember the key point that we're focusing on today that the author makes in this book is that white people wanted black and white people to be separate. So we're going to take a look at this picture, and we're going to be answering this question. The question says, how do the details in this picture support the key point that white people wanted blacks and whites to be separate? So we're going to take a look at this picture and think we have a boy. He's holding a sign. The sign says, we won't go to school. Sorry. We won't go to school with Negroes. Now let's take a look at our steps. Step number one says, what is the topic? So looking at the title of this text and reading throughout the text, I can tell that this text is all about Ruby Bridges and all about her, for her experience being the first black child to attend William France Elementary School. So that's our topic. Step number two says, what are the key points? We know that the key point that we're focusing on today is about how white people wanted black and white people to be separate during this time period. So that's a, a key point that the author is making. That's what we're going to focus on. Step number three says, find details to support each point. So the details in this picture that support that point that I can see, this one's pretty straightforward. I see a white boy and he's holding a sign that says he doesn't want to go to school with black people. This is pretty straightforward in saying that this white person very clearly supported segregation, he wanted white and black people to be separate. So that supports the key point that the author is making. This this is a real photograph of a boy that wanted that. So that proves the author's point that white people wanted segregation. So step number four, explain how the details help you understand the point. The boy holding the sign, once again, helps me understand. Reading the sign and looking at the boy helps me understand that white people supported segregation during this time period. So now that I had my turn, we're going to practice together. We're going to take a look at this picture now. Oh, excuse me, not that picture. Do that one next. We're going to practice this one. So we're actually going to take a look at both of these pictures on this page. And we're going to follow our steps and think, answer this question. How do the details in this picture support the, support the key point that white people wanted blacks and whites to be separate? Or that white people supported segregation? Because we know segregation is when black and white people were separate. So looking at this, let's answer our steps. So step number one says, what is the topic? As I said for the I do, the topic is, yes, friends, the topic is all about Ruby Bridges and her life and her being the first black child to attend this school. Step number two says, what are the key points? We know the key point that we're focusing on today and the key point in the question is that white people 
wanted segregation, they supported segregation. And they supported the separation of black and white people. Step number three, find details to support each point. So looking at this picture, I want you guys to think now before I answer, how do the details that you see in this picture support the point that white people wanted black people and white people separate? Think about it. What are you seeing in the little parts in the picture? Maybe looking at the signs, reading what they say. This sign says white only. This sign says for colored. All right, friends, great job. Yes, if you guys look at the little details in the picture, white only and for colored, these are signs for restaurants that have separate restaurants for white people and separate restaurants for black people. So this shows that segregation was something people supported and that there were separate restaurants based on the color of your skin, which is just crazy to think about now, but this was true then when segregation was alive and well, when white people wanted segregation, you saw this very often. So just seeing these signs supports our step three and supports our key point. Step number four says, explain how the details help you understand the point. The details in this picture that I notice are the parts in the sign that say white only and for colored that show that people supported the segregation of restaurants. Great job. Okay, friends, now it's your turn. Your turn to open up Google Classroom so I can see how you guys are growing your brains. Open, um, go ahead and pause this video if you need to. Open up Google Classroom and I want you guys to go under April 2nd on Thursday and under the text study section that says your turn. I want you guys to open it up and I'm going to open to the picture and read the question for you. So after you guys have your question opened up, take a look at this picture. This picture will also be posted next to the question if you need it. So taking a look at this picture, let me read the signs for you really quickly. This sign says we want segregation. This sign says we don't want to integrate. What do you guys notice about this picture? Maybe the type of people there are in this picture? Think about that as we answer our question. Question is, how do the details in the picture support the key point that white people wanted blacks and whites to be separate? The answers are, there are trees in the background, white people are yelling and holding signs saying they support segregation, there are policemen there to watch the crowd. It looks like the picture was taken during daytime. Which one of these supports the key point that white people and black people, that's, excuse me, that white people supported segregation and that white people wanted whites and blacks to be separate? All right, friends, great job. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.